going on YouTube? I want to make this video because uh, a lot of people have been asking where my videos are at. Well, honestly, man, I ain't got nothing to do my videos on. Um, like, I don't like to do videos of just me talking because, I don't know, sometimes they can be really boring. I like to show stuff, you know what I'm saying? I like to have, like, displays of shit so you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. But, um, yeah, I wanted to do this video, and it's, uh, it's on, a <laughs> worst trades ever. Worst. This is actually a video game related one. Um, I'm gonna talk about a trade that I did years ago that I regret, and I kick myself every night for doing. Um, yeah, so... Since I've done, I'm doing this video, I just wanted to let you guys know, like, if you guys have, like, a worse trade or a trade that you wish you never did, it doesn't have to be video game related. It can be, like, sneakers. It can be hats. It can be whatever. Trading cards. I don't care. I like to know. Like, you could do a response video. I, I don't care. I think it'd be fun to, to hear a story of the worst trade you guys have ever done. And, and you know, as a matter of fact, let's see if we can one-up each other. <laughs> who is the who got the worst one you know what I'm saying now mine's pretty bad it's it's not I don't think it's that bad it's not the worst I don't think I don't think it will top everybody's but um so let me tell you the trade so this this happened to me I th I think it was my I think it was my sophomore year of high school sophomore or junior so uh, this was Back in like 2000, 2001. Um, let's see. So, yeah. I think it was my sophomore year. I had an art class. And there was a guy in the class who was in my grade who I never met. And I met him and I found out he's a huge gamer. Like, he, he knew his video games, man. Like, I never met anybody. Like, this was before YouTube. This was before I really used the internet like that. You know, I, I didn't go to no chat rooms, nothing like that. So I, I didn't know anybody that knew video games like I did, right? No, yo, we talked about video games all the time. If I, told him about, if I told him about a fighting game, he knew all about it. You know what I'm saying? He knew all about the random ass systems, you know. And um, we would always talk about games and stuff. So, one day, right, we're talking. And I don't know how it came up, but we started talking about Sega CD. And, you know, uh, I was like, oh, snap, you know, you got Sega CD. And I always like to find out, like, find people who had, like, the most, ra like, random systems. Like a Sega CD. Like, who who had that? You know what I'm saying? System sucks. But anyways, I had one. I had a, I had a few games, you know. I want to know what games he had. Now, this is before I had a job. So I didn't buy video games. Like, the only time I got video games was if I traded them. Or if I stole them. Like, I'm not going to lie, dude. Back in the day, I was a heavy shoplifter. Like, I don't do that stuff now. I regret doing it. But, dude, I had I had the five-finger discount all day, dude. But, like, so, yeah, you know, I, I so I decided somehow we, we got into the talks of a trade. So I traded him a game, a Sega Genesis game, and he traded me a Sega CD game. And I thought that was a legit-ass trade because I never... I never saw Sega CD games anywhere like that, you know? Genesis, I was around Genesis games all the time. Everybody had a Sega Genesis, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, whatever. So, what had happened was, I traded him Michael Jackson's Moonwalker for the Sega Genesis. <laughs> now, the, the way I got that game was back in the day, back in middle school... I let somebody borrow my Sonic and Knuckles, and the only way I let him borrow that giant was if he let me borrow six of his games, because that Sonic and Knuckles, man, I I had I had just bought that giant brand new, and he let me get six of his games. I mean, these six games sucked, and I never got my Sonic and Knuckles back. Freaking, I hate that man. Freaking thieves. But anyway, um, one of the six games was Michael Jackson's Moonwalker. And all I had was a card, you know. I mean, I, I had had the game for years. I played it. The game was hard as hell. I never beat it. I, I play. I played it a lot, you know. Whatever. So I was like, I didn't care if I, if I traded it, because I mean, I always saw that game everywhere. 
as a kid, I always saw it at rental stores. I always saw it at the Toys R Us. I saw that game everywhere. The game was everywhere, dude. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker is like... That was a popular game. So, what he traded me... <laughs> he traded me Prize Fighter for the Sega CD. Now, for all of you that aren't into video games, you guys are probably like, well, so what? Well, the thing that sucks about it is that Prize Fighter is a $4 game. I can go on eBay right now and I can get it for like 4 bucks. Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, I've seen that game go for $80. $80 complete. I've seen a loose one go for like $40. $50, dude. Are you serious? But back then, Michael Jackson Moonwalker wasn't worth anything. It was worth like a penny, dude. It was worth a dollar. I don't know why it went up so high. Maybe it's because he's dead? I don't know. Probably. And the thing that sucks is he... So I got, you know... I, I thought, you know, we did the trade or whatever. I was like, oh yeah, you want Michael Jackson Moonwalker? Like, here, man, keep this giant. I got Price Fighter. He, it was dog. He had Price Fighter mint, complete... Everything. Two discs. I got home. I put that joint in my Sega CD. And that game fucking sucks, dude. That game blows. Worst boxing game on the planet. Don't ever, ever play that game. Don't even look at the game. Don't even search that game. Don't. Don't. I'm fucking serious. Don't. Game sucks. Balls. Like... Harry balls, dude. Like, it's the worst. The worst. For all of you that own a Sega CD and you guys actually think it's a legitimate system, the system fucking sucks, dude. Sega CD sucks. There's a reason why that thing never took off. You can't sit there and tell me Sega CD is a good system. <laughs> There's nothing good about a Sega CD, dude. You know, people are like, oh, well, you know, they got Sonic CD and they got, you know, they got these rare RPGs. No. The system sucks as a whole. Just because the system has like five good games doesn't make the system good. You know, if the game had 200 games and only five of them were good. That's like, well, I don't even know what percentage that is. That's the worst percentage in the world. The game system sucks. Don't ever, dude, if y'all have a Sega CD, don't even bother buying games for the Sega CD, dude. I own a lot. Now, don't get it twisted. I think Final Fight CD is the best Final Fight on any console. But, that doesn't change the fact that Sega CD sucks. And I'm I'm bitter. I'm bitter about that. You know what I'm saying? Because, I didn't find, you know, I didn't find out Michael Jackson Moore was worth that much until like last year or something. And you know, I thought about it. I was like, man. Because for the longest time, I thought that was the best, the best trade ever. A complete Sega CD game for a, a loose Genesis game. That I had for five years, I was like, that I didn't care about. Oh. <sighs> I gotta find that game somewhere, like at a thrift store. I'm not paying $40 for a game that I had before. I want the game, but I'm not paying that much. <sighs> Whatever, but that's the worst trade ever. It sucks because I still have that prize fighter game. I only played it once. I swear I was about to toss that game. The game blow. Even even after I played it, and I knew how much it sucked, I didn't care because I thought that was an awesome trade. I was like, I don't care. It's part of my collection now. Say CD. No. For all you young people that are getting into retro games, and think just because you got a Say CD that it. It's cool just because it's retro. No, it's not cool because it's retro. Sega CD sucks, dude. 32X sucks. Sega CD sucks. Sega Genesis is awesome. Sega Saturn is awesome. Sega Dreamcast is awesome. Sega CD and 32X? Dick. Dick. Balls. That's one of, one of the worst systems. I'm sorry. Hate on me. What, gamers, you can't, Super Shark, Midnight Raiders, Surgical Strike, 
Marky Mark and the fun Funky Bunch make my video? Crisscross make my video? Come on. What kind of shitty ass system has games like that? Look those up. I dare you to look them up. Games suck. That's my rant, dude. That's the worst trade ever. So, if you guys have a trade that you regret doing and you kick yourself for it, let it be known. Let's see who got the worst who got the worst one. I like to see that. I don't know. I like to, I like to know. If you don't want to make a video, fuck it. Just make a comment down below. I don't care. I just want to let you know. So, all right, guys, that was it. That was my video. Once again, I appreciate the support. Um, thanks so much for watching, and peace out.